Hi everyone and welcome to Community Gardening with Rena. Today we have a special guest with us, Chris Wong. Welcome Thank from you. Young Urban Farmers. And we're going to go over what we've learned. So far we have our containers full of soil and ready to be planted. And today Chris is going to show us what to do with those containers. What's next? Great, thank you. Today we're going to be talking about the seeds and the seedlings and planting those into one of the containers. Today we're going to be learning a little bit about direct seeding and transplanting now that we have our cajas ready to be planted. Some things we're going to be doing directly from seed. Those include things like radishes and our beans. Other things we're going to be providing some transplants, things that have been started already at the greenhouse so that they're small plants, they have a little bit of a root system already developed, and they have a jump start on getting going in their growth and development cycle. For things like radishes, we want to be direct seeding those because they have a very fast days to maturity. And for this particular variety, uh, from the time that we plant them to the time that we harvest them can be as quick as 30 days. Some seeds also don't like their roots to be disturbed when they're transplanted. So if we're starting off with beans or if we're starting off with other root vegetables, if we try and transplant them, the roots can be a little bit disturbed. That can cause a little bit of stress and it will lead to less than optimal results when it comes to the, the, the produce that we get from the garden. So this is one variety of radish that we're growing. This one is called Sora. Uh, we've got a local Ontario supplier for the seeds that we purchased this from. And this is a really fantastic red, round, lobe shaped radish. Uh, the other type of radish that we'll be planting is a French breakfast radish, which is a little bit more long and cylindrical. And they both have a great crisp, fresh, a little bit spicy radish flavor to them. When it comes to planting our radishes, what I like to do is to prepare the soil and prepare the planting space uh, in box. So we're going to set up the, the holes. We're going to drop in one or two seeds per hole. And then we're going to cover it up, pat it down, make sure that there's good contact between seed and soil. And finally, we're going to give it a little bit of water to start and kick off that germination process. So you can see the radish seeds are quite small, they're round, and they have a sort of dark brown and sort of purplish color. And we're going to be preparing our soil. We're going to be planting one or two seeds per hole. We're going to be covering it up and we're going to be doing a little bit of watering to ensure that there's good contact between soil and our seeds. When it comes to planting our seeds, I like to prepare the planting holes first and then drop in one or two seeds. For the, for the depth of the seeds, because the radish seeds are relatively small, if the radish seeds are about a quarter of an inch in size, we're going to want to plant them three to four times their depth, so about three quarters to an inch in depth and I'm gonna be using my thumb to make some planting holes and then we're gonna be putting in the seeds. So for the radish seeds, we're gonna be doing uh, 12 rows of five. So here's our first row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we'll be doing five rows of that. So we can have it in a nice organized grid that gives the radish seeds all the same amount of space. It makes it look nice and uniform. And it also allows us to see if there are unwanted volunteer plants or weeds that come in. Because if we see some plants that are not in our current spacing, then we can both visually tell by them being out of place. And if they look a little bit different, we can know that, okay, those aren't the seeds that we want. We're gonna need a little bit of fine motor skills. We're gonna drop in our seeds in each of the holes. I'd like to get a little bit of seeds into my hands with one hand and then plant them with the other hand. So generally one or two seeds per hole. 
again, we might not have 100% germination. And so this gives us a little bit of safety and a little bit of buffer in case not all the seeds germinate. If they do germinate, we can simply remove them or if there's enough space, we can let them be. If you happen to drop in more than two seeds, that is okay, not to worry about it. Uh, the seeds for the radishes are relatively inexpensive and not the biggest concern. The bigger concern is if the plants are too tightly packed together, then we're gonna have some radishes that are gonna be a little bit undersized. They might be a little bit uh, misshapen if they are competing for space. And that is what can happen if we have them too closely together. And so now that we've dropped in one or two seeds per planting hole, the next step is to smooth out the surface, pat it down, not too hard um, and not too compacted because that will squish out some of the air and water pockets. And because the soil is already moist, if we've already filled our water reservoir, we don't need to be watering too much on top because if we're too aggressive with the watering, that can disturb and dislodge some of the seeds from the proper spacing that we've done. So I'm just going to very gently cover up the, the planting holes. Uh, because the, the seeds are a little bit deep, we don't have to worry about disturbing them or shifting them around. And that is how we plant a box of radishes. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.